It is nearly impossible to find the eight rare bags I'm sharing with you today. However, I am very fortunate that I have been able to add these eight bags to my collection over the years. I have bags from a variety of contemporary and luxury brands, and what I've done today is select the one most rare bag from eight of those brands, which include Chanel, Coach, Fendi, and Gucci, and Longchamp, Louis Vuitton, Portland Leather Goods, and Tory Burch. And I've tried to arrange them from bags that would be the easiest to find up to the very most impossible to find bags. So make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end so you don't miss those most rare pieces. Welcome, I'm Autumn Beckman and I am here to help you live your most luxurious life within your budget. We talk about everything from handbags to everyday luxuries, so like, subscribe, and click the bell so you don't miss my daily community posts that's where I tell you about sales and rare finds, or any of my new videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Also don't miss my website, autumnbeckman.com, it'll be linked below, where you can pick up items that I have personally designed for you to help you curate and organize a purposeful collection of your most treasured things. For example, my My Handbag Collection Planner. This is the front and back of the item tracker page from that collection, and this is where you can keep track of all the information on your handbags and small goods. So you have it all in one place. And those of you who have been around this channel for a while, you know that I primarily buy my bags pre-loved and I tend to get lots of great deals on them. So the eight bags I'm showing you today, I didn't spend a fortune on. In fact, there's only one that I spent over a thousand dollars on. So I'll tell you about that and whether each of these were new or pre-loved and approximately what I paid. And usually when I show bags in a video, I'll link below where you can buy those bags. But since these are rare, that will be more difficult to do. So if I can find any of them, they'll be linked. Otherwise, I'll try to find something similar or something from the same line, and I'll have that below. So check that out. And we're starting off today with Gucci. This is my Dionysus Hobo. It's the one with the two dogs on it. Let me show you this close up. These dogs are embroidered patches, which is so beautiful. I love the details on them. The back of the bag is just the black leather. This also comes with a shoulder strap that attaches to the D-rings on the side. The Dionysus line is known for, just like Gucci is known for, being ostentatious. Lots of color, this one doesn't have so much color, but most do. Lots of big in-your-face imagery. Definitely not quiet luxury. This bag has been on my wish list since I first saw it in the windows at Gucci years ago. I think back then it retailed for over $3,000, and I got it in the last few years from the Real Real for under a thousand. I want to say it was 700 something, and it was in brand new condition. And I have my eye on at least two other of the Gucci Dionysus hobos, so we'll see if I have a chance to add those at some point. This bag isn't necessarily all that rare. You can find them, but you can't always find the dogs anytime you're looking. Sometimes you have to wait a bit for one to pop up. For number two, we're shifting to a contemporary designer, and that is Tory Burch. This is my Lee Rad's wheel bag from Tory Burch, and it's an eel. There's a close-up of that so you can see it. Somebody said recently that this is an orange bag. It does come across as orange on camera, but in person it's more brown, but definitely has an orange undertone. It is very orange on camera. That is much brighter than it looks in person. This is one of the bags I picked up brand new. I paid about $1,100 for it, and I'm so happy to have it because it's a bag that I love. I had been looking for something in eel. It's really special and they sold out pretty quickly and I have not ever seen another one of this particular bag for sale. So it's very hard to find. They did also have the smaller size of this bag and I think the bigger one in a purple eel. I have seen that pop up a couple of times. That is definitely my most rare bag from Tory Burch. For a few of these brands, I debated which bag to show, which is the most rare. And for Longchamp, there were two that I was deciding between. One is this. This is the large Le Pliage tote, and it's in a special limited edition print, black with these stars. There's also a blue version of this with white stars, but these are just like a clear coating that makes them shiny when they hit the light. These are bags that sold out pretty quickly, and they've become pretty difficult to find, particularly the black one. I saw a blue one the other day, and if I can still find it, I will link it for you. But I don't think this is the most rare bag I have from Longchamp because I think this is 
This is the Longchamp Le Pliage in the extra small size, and it is covered in sequins other than the patent leather trim but it is just absolutely covered in sequins. Both of these Longchamp bags I purchased brand new. Both sold out pretty quickly. The tote I probably paid about $200 for, and this bag I want to say was around $300. I may have gotten it on sale somewhere from a third-party retailer. Maybe I paid $200. This became a sought-after bag, and I have not seen them for sale. I know several of you have told me that you would like to have one, and if I do ever see them for sale, I will certainly put them in a community post. So make sure you're subscribed to see that. And this does also come with a patent leather crossbody strap. Earlier when I listed off all of the brands that I'm telling you about today, some of your ears may have perked up when I mentioned Portland leather goods because I feel like they stick out among the other brands. Some of you love them and then some of you are probably like, what, why, how do they have a rare bag? Well, that's because they do a lot of different colors and some of those colors of leather they release in much more limited quantities and you can't just buy them. You have to get them in mystery boxes and that's how I got this one. This is the butterfly bag and it's in the color jade and being in jade is what makes it a rare bag. I got this when I purchased a butterfly bag from one of their C grade sales last year. So they have premium quality bags and then they have almost perfect that they sell on their website which have something wrong with them. And then a couple times a year they have a C grade sale which is a level below almost perfect. So these are supposed to have flaws and you buy a style of bag but you don't know what color you're going to get. So I bought a butterfly bag and I was sent a jade butterfly bag which is incredible. This is a beautiful leather. I have no idea what's wrong with this bag. I don't see any flaws in it but y'all know green is my color and I'm so happy and fortunate to have received this bag. It was under $100. The Chanel bag I'm showing you isn't necessarily impossible to find, but it's certainly not a common bag. And that is my Chanel Moonlight on the Water. If you're new to this channel, I have a thing for sequins. This bag is not completely covered in sequins. It looks like it's missing some in places, but it's actually designed that way. So there is the front, the side, the back, the other side, and the bottom. And I mentioned that there's one bag in this entire list that I paid more than $1,000 for. This one obviously is it. I paid about $3,000 for this. There are only three bags in my entire collection that I've paid $3,000 or slightly more than $3,000 for. That, however, was still a bargain. Chanel is very expensive and I'm sure this bag retailed for more. But no regrets. I carry it a surprising amount of times. It seems like a really special occasion bag that I would would almost never carry. I've carried it a lot more than a lot of other bags that are like more normal. But speaking of bags I don't carry often, the next is my most rare bag from Louis Vuitton, which is my Noé in the Nomad line. The Nomad line is all Vachetta, top to bottom, front and back, not on the inside, it's lined on the inside. It does have a strap, I just don't have it attached. This was a limited edition release. Some of them were available to have custom ordered, but not only is the Nomad line difficult to find, but it's especially difficult to find in such incredible condition as this one is. And I mean, there are a few spots and scratches here and there, but so many times when you find a bag on the preloved market that's all Vachetta like this, it has giant stains. This one is comparatively immaculate and I got it for under a thousand dollars from the real real. It was a ridiculously low price for what this bag is. And this is definitely one of the most special bags in my entire collection. Now the next two bags I have to show you are exceptionally rare. These are bags that I have never seen for sale beyond the one time that I saw them and purchased them. The first one of those is from Coach and it is my Coach Cashin Tote in the pearl paint design. So first let me give you a quick spin of this. The Cashin Totes are a re-edition, reimagining, contemporization of Bonnie Cashin's original coach totes with these signature very thin little straps. I have a couple of runway bags in my collection. This is one of them. Another is this coach Rexy, but it's less rare than the Cashin. There's a little close-up of the design on the front. Not only printed, but there's also debossing in several places. This is from a runway collection that featured 
iconic places in New York City. Coach, of course, is a New York brand. And I was able to pick this up brand new when it dropped and sold out very, very quickly and never came available again because they're limited edition pieces. But I was very fortunate to be able to grab this just in time. And Pearl Paint is a place where I used to buy some art supplies when I was an art student in New York. So this bag is particularly special for me. Now the bag in my collection that I think is absolutely the most rare bag I have is from Fendi. And I actually had two bags I was debating about. One is this. This is a Fendi peekaboo in the mini size. And I love this bag every time I give it a spin in front of these lights. It has beads and sequins on it and it is spectacular. And I got it for an incredible deal on Fashion File. It was under $1,000. This bag retailed for like 6,000 something. But when deciding between this and the other bag, I was thinking, have I ever seen either of these bags for sale anywhere else besides the one time that I bought them? This I have seen up for sale one other time. I also saw another colorway of this bag for sale. So I don't think this is the most rare Fendi I have. What I think is, is this. This is my Fendi spy bag. And maybe you're thinking the Fendi spy bag was everywhere. Those are not rare. Let me bring it closer. This bag is all woven leather and I have never, it's a little dusty, but I have never seen another one like it. The only place I've ever seen one was there was a photograph of one in an article about Fendi spy bags that I found, but I've never seen another for sale. This is an incredible Fendi spy bag. Of all the spy bags I've seen, I think this is the most amazing one. And I'm very fortunate to have it in my collection. And I got a great price on it. It was under $1,000. By the way, that Cashin bag, I think, was probably about $300. The interior of this bag is the Fendi Zucca print. It's in immaculate condition. What is the most rare bag in your collection or on your wish list? Let me know in the comments section below. Also, check out any links I might have in the description box, particularly for my handbag collection pages so you can track and keep some kind of organization to your collection. I'll also have links for all of my favorite places to buy bags pre-loved and I'll link my last video which was 20 Louis Vuitton bags under a thousand dollars. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope to see you back here next time and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.